the reason so many hunters from overseas come to South Africa or to Africa such as because of the great amount of species that one can hunt. I mean, it's more than 50 that you can hunt in South Africa, game animals and things that you can hunt. If you hunt big animals, you're in danger. It's, it's just a chance you take. That's what hunting is all about. I mean, if you drive in your car on the highway, you take chances. You can die in an accident. And it's just the same thing when you go hunting in a place like Africa. Yeah, impala is a string jumper, just like the warthog and the springbuck. It makes it a little more difficult to hunt. I would say if you shoot from a blind, you've got to shoot it over a distance of less than 20 yards, or 22 yards at least, you know. Otherwise, the moment they hear the bow sound, they tend to jump the moment you shoot, and they often shoot a little too high, or you shoot it through the scapula. Hemsbuck is a beautiful, beautiful animal with those uh, straight, long uh, horns of his, and also an animal you must be careful of. I started my interest in, in archery with traditional bow hunting to supply meat for my household. After I started uh, hunting with a bow, I, I wrote an article and I sent that to the Game and Hunt magazine. And that's how I got into it. And after working there for about two years, I started the uh, Africa's Bow Hunting magazine. Africa's Bow Hunting magazine will definitely have a lot of hunting stories in it. Nearly every month we do a bow test on, uh, on some of the new bows. And then there's all types of other interesting stories, you know, a little philosophy on archery, where to shoot them, where you can find the animals, where you can hunt them, how to hunt them, what arrows, what poundage you need, what type of broadheads work. You'll find all of that in there. The whole thing about hunting an animal planning how you're going to hunt him. You learn more about nature, more about how things work, that there is killing going on every day, that things have to die to feed other things. And uh, if it dies out today, people stop hunting, it'll be the day that we sort of lose our connection with the past and uh, lose our self-sufficiency. It's a tradition that has to go on.